Black spending matters. Black spending matters. Black spending matters. You know, we can, if we can uh, be able to facilitate the black dollar and put it put it all together, maybe we can we can start building empires that way. How do you feel about how black people spend money today? Too many of us are consumers. Oh, we're horrible at. I guess I'm just a lush. I'm so thirsty for you. I'm binging. I admit it. I'm addicted to your love. I try to sober up, but I'm feeling for your touch. Cause I'm addicted to your love. Y'all doing, man? What's yeah. your name, y'all? So, Precious. And uh, what exactly? What kind of music do you play? We focus on R&B, hip hop, jazz. So y'all do a combination of music. Yeah. Right? And y'all play real instruments too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, why the variety of music? Because yeah. music's universal. So, you know, each part of the music connects with us in different ways. You know, so. I mean, it's an interesting thing because you just uh, you capture it uh, today. So, I mean, a lot of people just doing the, uh, the trap music, yeah. the mumble music, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't really see the versatility. So, I think it's real unique what you guys are doing having so many genres of music. And uh, do you see yourself as pioneers? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just like you said, there's. If, if we were to follow the trend, we would only be doing the trap or, or like you said, but you know, it's it's really knowing who we are and we, you feel me, we tie out here, you know, so we got that connection and and it's just, and we want to bring that forth in the music, so it's really just all artistic expression, you know what I'm saying, so. Because it seems to be kind of dying off today. Yeah, know? yeah, it is. But we about to bring it back though. But we that's why we soul progressions. Cause we, we progressing the soul back to where we supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So soul progression, soul. See, cause uh have you ever heard of a term called soul brother? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't hear that too many times, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Are you a soul brother? For sure. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Are you a soul brother? Yeah, man. Are you a soul brother? Yeah. And see, definitely. when you say that, that's something like that resonates with your soul, soul brother. So like what's the inspiration behind the name soul progressions? Man, um, it came to us when we were about to go on stage for another show, and we didn't know what our names were going to be. And first it was Soul Collection, and we didn't think people would really like that. And somebody was like, Collecting Soul Progression, soul. I think. Mean, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody was like, Soul Progression, and it just stuck with us. And just like, we soul Collection, that sounds like some Tales from Crip or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Soul Collection. Uh, very interesting thing. So, what would you classify your group as? Uh, hip hop or soul music? Soul music. Soul music. Soul music. Soul music. Neo soul. Neo soul? Yeah, you got a whole bunch of Neo. Yeah, because you know the Neo stuff is, uh, I mean, that's like new age. Then it kind of gets away from the soul essence, you know what I'm saying? And I think you guys just uh, captured it. So, uh, what kind of instruments do you play? I play guitar and I do vocals. I'm a sax player. And I play drums. How old are you? I'm 29. 22. I'm 20. See, do y'all see yourself as pioneers? Yeah, yeah. You know, because more and more young brothers see people like you playing instruments. I aspire them to want to play instruments too. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that last night. I think what happens is because it's the music business, sometimes people get too caught up. There's there's like there's a side where where people don't get the business side, and then there's the side where people only care about the business side. And so what happens is they're so busy just trying to get the check out of music that they don't really hone the craft. Whereas we we've spent so much time, each one of us has spent so much time honing our craft that now we're we're focusing on the business side, but it's still all off the love, you feel me? So you're still keeping your artistry. 
yeah, we, we, we're not compromising the art, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then at the same time, like, in rehearsal, it's not only just playing the instruments for us in rehearsal. Also in the rehearsal, we're actually progressing our own souls. We're having real, like, real conversations, like, about us maturing as people, you feel me? And, and how the music can impact the world and how we can influence younger generations and even our current generation with the music. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's really about, you know what I'm saying? Uplifting people with the music. And it's hard to do that if one, we're not where we need to be you know what I'm saying, on a soul level, and, and at the same time, if we not really giving them the best of our musicianship, you know what I'm saying, so we gotta rehearse. So, so you were saying, like, business is important too. Yeah, it's business important. Side. Yeah, but there's a balance, like, you can't never, you can't compromise the art for the business, you know what I'm saying, but you also can't only do art, or, because then you can't feed yourself. Right. You know what but I'm if saying? if you compromise the art for the business, then the music get whack. It, 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 gets what, it gets where it gets where the mainstream music kind of is right now. Exactly where it's just you know what I'm saying where there's just it's just a formula. We can make that. We can make whatever radio hit they need, but we we're not trying to just fit the mold. You feel me? That was interesting. Y'all heard of that song called "What's Going On" by the Gate? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Do you know Barry Gordy did not want that song to come out? He was like, it's too deep for the people. Mm, yeah. And it's one of his like most famous yeah. songs, right? But I look at that song as an example of where business matches up with artistry. Mm -hmm. Cause I think people want to hear shit that hear things that affect their heart. Right. Yeah, for the sure. Music. So as far as the business side of it, like, you guys learn the business as well. It's very important. Groups are broken up because of the business. And I think the black community is so affected by the Industry, by the artists, and we need to learn the music business as well. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, the fact of the matter is, every song puts out a vibration. You know what I'm saying? And those, when you got that song, you know what I'm saying, on the radio, or you got that new famous act that just came out. Everybody dressed like that. They talk like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. When Drake first dropped, it was a thousand Drakes. Every song I heard, I felt like it was a Drake song. You know what I'm saying? Tires. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm hearing Future all over the place. And it's like... Or now I'm hearing mumbling. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And, and then, so it's like... You feel me? If we, if we have something that can really put out a frequency to, to really build, we might as well. You know what I'm saying? Or else... Or else we did compromise. You feel me? And we and we aren't. We're not really giving the people what they need. We might give them what they want for a little bit, but then that's just gonna make them. You know what I'm saying? All right, I got what I want, and now I'm gone. That's McDonald's. You feel me? We're not fast fooding out here. You feel me? This ain't a drive-through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. You know what I'm just playing like you go to McDonald's, they all ain't just the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if we, but we'll we'll give it to them. We'll you know what I'm saying we'll package it in a nice way like Houston's or Benny Hanna's. We gonna cook it up right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm you saying? Know what we gonna give brand. it to you right in front of you. But it's still something that's a brand. But we not we ain't we ain't giving you a dollar cheeseburger. Where you can get that from? You get what I'm saying? How do y'all feel about how black people spend money in this country? I think. Um, I think this, I think this, and it's, it's going to kind of be political, but I think your, your, where you put your money is where you put your vote. And where you put your vote, when you vote on the ballot, that's where you put your tax dollars, that's where you put your money. And I feel like, I feel like the black community is we're putting our votes in the wrong things. We're putting our votes in, in companies that don't care about our communities. I can agree. We're putting our, and, and so those, every time we spend that dollar, we give that company more money to run ads. We give that company more money to destroy the plane, you feel me? Instead of putting our money in the products that are, are building the communities, that are giving back, that, are, that are, are changing the world in a way that's, future generations can thrive, you feel me? Right now, it's just, 
I think we got too many followers. To keep it lit. And we're the generate. We're and you know what I'm saying. The, the fact of the matter is, all around the world, our culture here in America is a, is influencing all, every other culture around the world. You know what I'm saying? Like I was looking. It's crazy on YouTube. I was looking at in in Japan. The, 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 the Asian girls in Japan got a whole culture where they braid their hair. We are, we are so progressions. Black, Black spending, spending matters. is dedicated to helping black entrepreneurs advertise their products and services. We are striving to provide a platform that black consumers will utilize in efforts to support black owned businesses. As you all know, black businesses continue to struggle to maintain in today's economy where blacks spend over $1 trillion on purchasing products and services in the U.S. There is no reason we as a people should struggle to have our own businesses when we possess that much spending power. 